I always look forward to our interactions. You're very encouraging of whatever ideas we bring to the table, uh, the and, and the enthusiasm and and uh, your inputs on on many of our uh, innovations have been very very uh, crucial in in making them uh, reach the the popularity that it has now reached. We've got fan tweets uh, for for match beats and, and stuff like that, saying that people who can't watch the live telecast because they are at some place, they, they watch the match through the match beats and, and those kind of, you know, you know, tweets you got from the fans all over the world. So thanks to all of those once again and your own leadership uh, and partnership in this. It's our pleasure, Raghu. Uh, and uh, FFT is really involved into it, uh, besides to, to you guys, because we believe in it. Uh, since the beginning of, uh, of our partnership together, I think we, we believed uh, in, um, the key role of AI, the key role of data in tennis. Uh, we were definitely, definitely convinced of it. Um, th three, four years ago, we knew that it would be the future of, of sport and tennis probably. And, uh, and I think it happened, uh, definitely. Uh, what we um, built together and what we are still building is really key to Roland Garros and to FFT. Um, for two main reasons, I would say. The first reason is, well, at the end of the journey, I think it, it's enhancing the fan experience. And it is key for us, as you can imagine. The second reason is, um, is that it's also facilitating um, the, the, the work, the life of um, all the people who are making the tournament, all the people that are working on the tournament and for the tournament you 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 mentioned the journalists you mentioned players staff and so on i think ai um, uh, is is key also for those populations because it allows them to focus only on what they have to do you know so um, for all those reasons i think we are on the on the on the right way Thanks, thanks a lot uh, uh, for that. I mean, we've always seen that we're constantly trying to innovate. So do you want to talk a little bit about the culture of innovation and how did this come about uh, in your organization? I think um, innovation is really in the DNA of, of our tournament. Um, a long time ago, Roland Garros, who, who was a navigator, um, was um, one of, of the key person when we talk about innovation in France. And, um, and I think it has followed uh, us throughout the years. It's really uh, in our history, in our DNA. And I think today and um, since uh, a few years now, uh, Infosys is bringing that as well to the table. Um, how we can innovate together for fans, uh, for the tournament itself, I think we 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 definitely um, respected uh, the DNA, the innovative DNA of Roland Garros together. Thanks, uh, thanks a lot, Sylvia. Now we are very close to the tournament, the period where we are nervously excited about what the event that's coming up. Are you excited? Do you want to share about how the preparations are for this year, uh, Sylvia? We are we are definitely excited. We can't wait to to launch this new edition. Um, as you can imagine, uh, it has been a bit tough. Um, last year it was as well, and this year it's gonna be tough again, um, especially due to the to the COVID nineteen situation. But I would say, in a way, it's uh, it's it's interesting because uh, I think innovation and and digital innovation, especially is becoming even more important for fans. Um, so I think um, the, the whole thing is about uh, bringing our fans closer to the court itself. Some of them, unfortunately, will not make it, will not be able to, to come and visit us, um, but we want to boost their experience um, uh, digitally uh, from a digital standpoint. AI is really key on, on it, obviously. So really um, impatient to launch the tournament. Um, and, and it's going to be very, 
in, in a very short period of time now. But um, but yeah, definitely uh, it's going to be an amazing tournament once again. Um, we we had the confirmation of many major players, which is good, and I think uh, all the fans will follow that very closely. Do we have anybody from Switzerland playing this year, Florian? Do you know? I know a guy from Switzerland uh, who has confirmed his participation. So I think it will drive a little bit of traffic to, on, on our platforms. It will also drive a few fans on our social media as well. Uh, Roger will be there. Uh, and it's an amazing, amazing news for us. Uh, we are so happy. And uh, good news are really welcomed on, on those days. So as you can imagine. Right. So um, we we are always looking at, like you said, opportunities to to provide things for the various uh, stakeholders, the fans. We provide the match center, which is fan facing. But what are your thoughts about from your interactions about the ones that we have offered the analytics, the video analytics and the stuff that we offered for the players and coaches last year? Uh, Florian? I think it was amazing. Uh, honestly, it was amazing because uh, this population is really key for us and um, uh, providing them with uh, almost live statistics and uh, almost live videos uh, they can use just right after the, 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 their match. Uh, well, we received so many testimonies from them. Um, I think they enjoy it. Um, I have to stay modest, but I think we are at the top um, uh, on, on this particular item. Um, well, I think, you know, uh, this is um, one of the key examples of how data and AI can enhance the experience very, on a very efficient manner. Um, they have their statistics, they can analyze um, almost lively, and then, well, trying to enhance a little bit there. Uh, the, 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 some of the of the aspects of their game. So um, you you bring that uh, to them, and I think uh, we are all happy about that. Absolutely, absolutely. I had the good fortune of uh, doing the workshop last year for some of the players and the coaches, and some of them are former champions. It's a pleasure to to present this, and then we all looked at it with a lot of eagerness. And it translated to their usage numbers also last year. So it was a wonderful experience. And we want to build on top of that this year and provide them even uh, more sophisticated uh, analytical capabilities on that. And Rago, as you mentioned uh, a little bit earlier, one of the key, um, let's say, wish of this population last year was to uh, get this experience on mobile uh, because they are all kind of moving around uh, throughout the stadium. It will be the case this year, uh, thanks to you, and I think it will even more boost um, their uh, satisfaction. Absolutely. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about? Uh, we shared the AI-assisted journalism last year was was released in a limited capacity to the maybe to the effective edit editorial team. Do you want to talk a little bit about the experience, their experience of using this? You know, there were almost about over hundred articles that leveraged the insights that came from the direct mentions. Uh, and, and embedding of either the screenshot or uh, either the image or the widget inside the FFT articles. Do you want to throw some light on that? Uh, Absolutely. The initial brief, the initial request from FFT was, okay, how can we use technology? How can we use AI to uh, make our own journalist team a bit more efficient? Um, how can they go, how can they only focus on what they on what it's key, and um, and and this is exactly what what you what you provided. Um, they they are using it a lot. Um, it's the platform is really easy to use and understand. Um, so yeah, as you mentioned, we 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 published almost a hundred stories thanks to this um, technology. Um, so once again, when I said a bit earlier that we are not only thinking of thinking about our fans, but we are also thinking about all the people that who are um, building this tournament years after years. This is a, a great example of how um, it can happen. 
uh, also for them. Fantastic, fantastic. Thanks a lot, uh, Florian, for that. Uh, this year, uh, with, the, uh, with, the, with the remote experience, we are also introducing a completely new innovation with our Roland Garros Museum. It was, of course, your idea, and, and we could take that and, and take it to a different level in terms of uh, being able to provide that as a remote experience for the fans. We're very excited with the early results that we are seeing there. But do you want to talk a little bit about um, uh, the history uh, that, that is richly behind this museum and how we can try and create this virtual museum experience? So, yeah. Yes, uh, absolutely. Because um, um, legends, um, uh, Roland Garros is all about key moments, legendary moments. Uh, of sports, of um, um, happiness as well. And I think this is definitely the, the, the core DNA of the event. And we were kind of thinking about um, how can we provide this experience uh, and provide all this DNA to our fans uh, digitally. Uh, and, and Infosys is, has, has come. Uh, as came with um, with this idea, with this idea of virtual museum, um, we all about launching it now. And I have to say, I have been amazed by the quality of the experience. Uh, this is this is going to be only a first step, and I think in the years to come, we will definitely enhance the experience. But you will see, as uh, this year during Roland Garros, um, all the posters from the first year of the, of the tournament until this year you will access it uh, digitally and get all the information you, you you need about each of them you 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 will even be able to look at to watch videos sometimes and uh, well you will feel in the museum definitely so once again thanks to the, the technology and uh, and thanks to infosys thank you thanks i mean i saw the assets that have been created and have been uh, scanned and made available to us, they are visceral in nature. I mean, very beautiful. And one can keep looking at them for a really long time. And, and it gives a way for the fans to connect with the history of the sport and the, and the beauty of the sport and how much uh, pain, how much effort Roland Garros is making to, to make this a really classy event by, by creating these assets. So it's, it's a pleasure for us to work on this project. And and last question. This is this is our duty, Ragu. Too. This is our our role as well to keep this alive and never forget the past um, and try to to build a bridge between what we did in the past and and the future of this tournament. And this is a key example. Correct, correct. For many fans, including people like me, buying a towel or a merchandise is the one way to have a, a some kind of a memorabilia of the that year's design but now fans can experience that in a in a virtual fashion also it's, it's a wonderful experience for for all of them and Absolutely. one last one last question before we open the and answer the questions that, that i see already on the on the question answer window on this year the ai shot we're very excited about uh, that one and particularly when when we said we will pick the best shot of the day using ai i mean typically automation does monotonous jobs for us with Roland Garros. The challenge was to take up creative tasks and try AI on them, the automation. So highlights is a highly creative task. It's an editor who's sitting and doing the, the create the, the highlights, and they would take a, a good amount of time, sometimes even two hours, to produce a very compelling highlights. And to be able to completely automate that for us is to say that automation need not be kept only relegated to only boring repetitive tasks, but even creative tasks are ripe for uh, for us to pick. So the shot of the day this year, uh, where we look at all the matches that in the day one, we have 32 men's singles and 32 women's singles. So 64 matches and, and hundreds of winners to be able to go over all of them and sometimes even forcing shots and pick the best shot of the day. It was a wonderful challenge for us to be able to do that and run it against past year's tournament and see whether it's producing results that are good for us. But the new challenge that this year you threw at us was to Make it a square format so that it would uh, it would work uh, uh, in in some of the social media platforms that require a square format. So we thoroughly enjoyed that problem, Dorian. Yeah, but you want to talk a little bit about that? The the only thing I want to uh, I want to add uh, on on this is 
from an organizer perspective, what is interesting is, well, AI is bringing this to, to us and it allows us to allocate our human resources differently. Uh, during a period of, of time in the past, you mentioned it, this is true, we used some resources to do repetitive tasks like this. Well, technology is bringing to us now and uh, allowing us to think a little bit differently. So these kind of resources are doing something else now, focusing on um, a bit more beauty, uh, you know, and, um, and I think this is exactly the spirit of the partnership as well. Fantastic. Thanks. Thanks a lot once again. And uh, it's been such a pleasure coming to Paris, uh, conducting, you know, workshops, participating and, and uh, understanding the spirit of the organization and being able to provide the digital innovations that we can showcase uh, to your organization. So it's been wonderful. And I look forward to a continued journey on this one, uh, Florian. Thank you. Maybe now... Yeah. Thanks a lot once again.